Here we're going to see how to do the first stretching of the histogram. We're going to normalize the histogram. We're going to balance the weight of all three channels, trying to leave the image as neutral and flat as possible. Flat meaning balanced. First thing we have to do is to go to Process, Image. We open Statistics. And we see here the values for the different channels. We see that the blue channel is rather dark. We click on Process, Transfer Curves, Histogram Transform. We select the image we want to process. We're going to use the medium values of each channel and apply them to the mid-tone values of the image. So we select the red channel. In the statistics median we read 0, 1, 7, 6, 1. So we go to the mid-tones box for the red channel and we enter that value here and when we're done we hit enter. We now have that value in the middle of, a, of the histogram. Now we select the green channel, go to the median value here, we see we read 0, 1, 4, 1, 9. We go to the midtones box for the green channel, we enter that value there and hit enter. We're adding the medium values for each channel, one on top of another. We go to the blue channel, and we're here in the statistics panel, 00365. So we put here 00365, enter. So you can see now the image should be very clear, very bright because three channels weigh approximately the same. Actually, we don't see it yet, so let's uh, click on real time. And now we see that indeed the image is very bright. We also notice that up here we have a blue band that was left after the stacking process of the images. We'll deal with that later. Uh, so let's go now to the combined channel to bring down that brightness a little bit. One value that usually works very good it's a value around 900. I usually enter 875. Uh, and I choose that because this leaves the image not too bright, neither too dark, and gives me a pretty large dynamic range. So we can let it continue doing more processing on the image. So we enter that value and press enter and see how the image changes. If we like it, and I like it because now we're starting to see details that before we couldn't see, we we'll close the real time window and we do a drag and drop of the triangle icon right here onto the actual image to apply all the changes that we've done. Notice now how the data, the numbers in the histogram window, in the statistics window change. Notice now that the red channel has a value very close to 2500. The green channel also has a value of 2500. And the blue channel also has a value of almost 2500, which means that the image, if not perfectly balanced, it's very well balanced. Now we close the statistics window. We reset the histogram by clicking on this button. Close the histogram window. And let's deal with that blue band that we saw on top of the image before. This is something we don't want to have. We should get it. Get it out of it. Out of here. So let's do that. And that's pretty easy to do. Let's stretch the image without affecting the actual image, just visually, so that we can clearly see what area needs to be cut out. We got screen transfer, screen transfer function. Let's make the image a little bit brighter so we can see better. We apply. Now we see the blue band more clearly. This band might confuse us, making us think that our histogram was not good because it's adding values to the um, to the whole image that uh, shouldn't be there. We go to 
process, geometry, dynamic crop, crop, excuse me, and simply by dragging the window, making a box leaving out the part of the image that we don't want. We click on this icon. This is the execute icon. And this way we'll cut out the part of the image we, that we don't want. Okay, it's done. Close that. Now let's not forget to leave the image the way it was before. So let's reset the screen transform function and apply again. That's how we had it. If we now look at the histogram window, let's go there again. Now you notice, uh, you may have noticed that before, let me zoom in here a little bit, in this area we had a little blue curve going up and that blue curve is now gone. This is the easiest and most appropriate way to balance the histogram, to do a first stretch of the histogram.